Hello everybody, welcome to this new episode of the best story of Turibia and today we talk to you about the witchcraft. So uh, before to do that, I will introduce to, to you the table of Sifa Ziwe. So it was a scientist from the extreme east of Turibia uh, who studied uh, the magic. This table at the origin, at the beginning, was used to know if a people if, a, if people will be able or not to practice magic. For that you will uh, meet a specialist, will, uh, you will determine your values of uh, the four uh, values of the table, so density, the quantity, the density H and density L. The density is density of magic. For, for example, a very low density will, will be more, for, for example, for the image like sand. So it will be very easy to uh, make uh, things with it. You can throw it away. You can make little uh, castle <coughs> with it. But uh, and a very high density is something like uh, a rock, for example. After you have the quantity, so it's a quantity of energy, very simple to understand. And then the two, uh, different, the two different uh, options, the density H, so it's the highest density you can use in your spell. For example, in some situation, your density can increase or decrease. If your density be go over one point, you lose your ability to practice magic and if it go under it <coughs> in the same situation to be able to practice a magic your line have to be between uh, two lines of the same color and as you can see here the biggest part of the population is uh, between the two brown uh, lines and so is not able to practice any kind of magic. There are exceptions, not for the witchcraft, so I will not talk about it uh, in my video, but there, there are excep exceptions. So to have the quantity of magic, so in the table you have values, it's help to make a line uh, because uh, it's made to have a cohesion in the line, in the lines, uh, but to have to the for the, calcu for the calculations because we will make calculation uh, in the witchcraft. You have to know what you you have a multiplication of the number of the table by uh, twenty five, <coughs> and so a lot of witchcraft, a lot of witchcraft users have their quantity of energy. Uh, between 125 and 200. On a map, you know, where are the places in which we will be able to find uh, witchcraft? Everywhere. You can find witchcraft everywhere. But, in generally, witchcraft, if it's legal, is considered like something very suspicious. There is only Four points, four big points uh, in Serbia in which the magic is completely accept. You have Stavza, in which uh, so so if you if you uh, had a look about Serbia first plague, you know a bit uh, about the, the region. And it's the witches are uh, considered as uh, a ruling elite. They have a very, very important in the army and in the political life. In Valerberia, they are most considered as scientists. They use their magic to try to make amelioration uh, for different things. For example, it can be an object or agriculture, for example. In Dretchemot, it's tribes of uh, wizards or witches. Uh, which, which are linked to a village or a city and uh, which want to which uh, 
try to protect it. And then in the mode, in which you have a lonely, uh, which is a uh, wizards, which are which are considered as a sage people, and which uh, will give their help uh, in situation with uh, in problematics with uh, magic. Then two informations about the witchcraft. It's considered as the most complex of the magic, because density is very low. You can make a very big uh, diversity of spells with a lot of different elements, and so very complex spells. Also, they are also known to use a high quantity of objects. Uh, we talk to that point a bit later. So now I will talk to you about the creation of spells. In fact, uh, there is no name for the spell. You can do everything you want. But there is a spell which are very, very, very common. And so they have a name. Uh, here I take the, the example of the spell of arrow. It's a very basic spell. In fact, nearly it's the first complex spell that the witches or wizards uh, learn. It's composed with three elements. So the first is the propulsion. It's element will, uh, which will give the speed of uh, the spell. After that, a little link. Then the arrowhead. So it's the energy uh, which will uh, penetrate in the target. Then another link. And then the aiming. So it's uh, linked to the precision of the spell. Uh, here you have calculations. So imagine you you just spend a uh, five uh, points of your energy uh, for the five points for the propulsion. It's a bit low, but it's good for the example. It's not sim it's more simple. Then you you use uh, you want to use uh, twenty uh, for the penetration of the of the spell. You have also to make a densification, so it's a uh, you have the dark purple for just the energy and a light purple uh, for the operation of densification so you, you take for example to have an image on the table the density you want to reach so here is a uh, 25 it's a uh, it's common that spell and uh, you make less the, the density you have so here I put a free, and uh, you make a multiplication by uh, one point one, uh, one one point one because you you spend a bit of your energy to uh, make the densification. After that, you have a link. So a link is a transition between uh, the two elements, and it's very expensive, but it's very helpful also for the cohesion of uh, the spell. And finally, the aiming. Generally, it's, a, it's not very expensive. It's 10 points. But uh, it's very, very helpful if you want to, uh, to, be, to have a good precision. Now you have the, the results under it. Uh, so you know, you, you see that there is some multiplication with values. Uh, which have a line under it, it's uh, the lose energy. When you create elements, you lost a part of your energy. And finally, you see that the complete, the, the total, uh, that the, the, the spell cost uh, 100, more than 100 points of energy. So, because of the maximum, the quantity of energy is uh, between 125 and 200 points, you completely understand that a lot of people, a lot of witches and wizards, are not able to make two uh, spells like that. And, and it's a problem. Imagine, for example, you have a, 
weapon you can, you can just use it one time it's a problem here we have another problem of as uh, witchcraft it's the repartition of the elements you have so the propulsion it's very low the aiming also and that it's uh, completely uh, it's completely uh, right the arrowhead is expensive but it's uh, it's like uh, it's like the bullet so it's uh, important but you have uh, two things very com very problematics you have the links the links as you can see are very expensive in the spell and then the uh, the lost energy in fact you, you use a big part of your energy it's in green lost energy and now we'll talk to you about how to uh, limit the consumption of energy the big question of the witchcraft uh, through how, how the history of the witchcraft is how to conserve the energy because it's the biggest problem for the witches and wizards we can use for that a relics it can be a stone, uh, a bone, a piece of wood everything you want in which you will be able to put uh, day after day a little part of your energy because you have a, a regeneration of your energy but it's pretty low and the, uh, the idea is uh, that when you will be in need of energy you will take uh, in the tank and it should make a bonus of energy so for example if uh, your limits of energy your quantity of en energy is limited to uh, 200 if you have uh, one relic you can have uh, 300 for example with the relic and sometimes uh, which is a wizard have uh, between five or six relics on them for example they can also use a wand and incantation it it just limits uh, the, the energy the quantity of energy uh, that you will lose uh, during the, the spells if there is no no uh, no obligation about uh, that for example for the incant incantations you you can make the sounds you want if you want to make uh, e e a a for example you can it's uh it's just to help you in fact it's not necessary for the spell after that you can make uh, spells in group for example one uh, which will make uh, the propulsion uh, a wizard will make the arrowhead another will make uh, the, the aiming and uh, finally uh, the last switch will make the links for example it's a good way uh, to uh, limit the, the energy consumption and finally you can also use a simplified spell it's just a propulsion and a narrow head just that we, we fought a link you don't have a good precision it's not very powerful but as you can see here it costs only uh, 40 points of energy so it's le it's uh, far less expensive and because of that generally a fight between two rich start with very complex spells uh, to try to uh, kill the, the opponent uh, with uh, the, the complexity of the spells but with the time and the, the decrease of the quantity of energy it became uh, very basic spells, very simple spells in fact and finally there is also other solutions if you uh, completely lose uh, your, your energy a lot of witches have uh, or wizards also have a weapon generally it can be a, a knife sometimes a dark blade and uh, I also put conventional army because uh, the armies which used uh, witchcraft in their troops 
don't want them to be useful after uh, don't want don't want don't want them to be completely exposed after uh, one spell so they used uh, it like a support of the conventional army and finally the other solution is to hide and it's why a lot of uh, witch or wizards uh, fight in ambush they uh, throw a very complex uh, spell on the target and then they run away and now what is the relation of the scarecrow orders uh, with the witchcraft for the pretends it's the limit uh, of their uh, the limits they don't ter tolerate too much the the witches or the wizards they accept them only in uh, specific troops in the army but not in uh, not among the civilians for the shepherds it's a bit different they accept the witchcraft, but they put regulation on it. Because imagine uh, you make a, a fest, and a, witch, uh, a wizard came with bad uh, intention. It's not like, for example, uh, like a, a common uh, killer. You can throw a knife or the weapon on him, and so. Wizards or witches are considered as potent, as uh, dangerous because you you not you are not able to know if they want to attack you or not. So they have to to put uh, gloves with a band of copper on it. In fact, it just uh, limit the copper limits the complexity of the spells. Is just a guarantee of their non aggression. In fact. Well, it's uh, all you had to know about uh, the witchcraft. You can uh, maybe ask me how to uh, how to be safe against the witchcraft, but uh, I will talk about it in a special video. So I hope you enjoy the video and uh, bye to next episode.